Brittany. I am the packer here at Jantz Supply. I am the daughter of Brett Jantz, which is the son of the owners, Kenneth and Venice Jantz. I worked here on and off as a teenager and grew up here my entire life. Growing up, uh, I always wanted to be daddy's little helper. I loved being in the shop. The smell of the shop has not changed my whole life. So the second I walked through that warehouse three door, it is my childhood right back automatically. It is my comfort space. So when I was a kid, my dad used to haul me back there every once in a while. And he let me press the buttons on the machines. I had no idea what I was doing. I don't know how to run a program at five, but he let me help and I felt important. I felt included and like I was wanted to be here. And that's always been a huge thing to me and I'm sure a lot of other people. My earliest childhood memories are probably like four or five years old. Uh, we had a little TV out front over by the back door in Kenda's cubicle. Uh, we hung out until we were old enough to kind of help do little things. Uh, receiving used to be in our second warehouse back when we were a little bit smaller scale and I would help screw rivets together and package things, make sure the labels were nice and pretty. Uh, that way everything looked nice for our customer. Moving on, I, as I got older, um, I started helping with the mosaic pen business when we first started doing that. I would assemble the pens and glue the pens and get them cleaned up to come here to ship out to customers. Um, after that, I started venturing off and going to school, but eventually decided this is where I want to be. Um, I don't know if it's in my blood or if it's just because this is what I was supposed to do. This is where I love to be, and packing has been the department that I know that I'm at my best. Working for family is kind of fun. <laughs> um, you know them very personally. Um, if you're kind of having a hard moment, I'll just go into Shanna's office or Kenda's cubicle and kind of vent and it's nice to have family close by. It definitely keeps you very tight knit. The fact I get to bring my own daughter up here now is a huge blessing. Not a lot of people in this world get to have their children with them every day and I am very, very fortunate to get to have that. She's grown up here like I am, have and I'm hoping that maybe one day she'll take over for me. <laughs> Okay, so I receive the order from our picker, Melissa. She comes and she puts it on the rack beside my desk and I will start by getting the picking out and seeing how large the order is. I like to do my steel orders after I get my smaller orders taken care of so that I can have my bulkier items beside my desk. But I will get that picking and I will check my items, get them on my desk, and I will look to see how far away from Oklahoma it's going. If it's, you know, relatively close to us, I know that that, if it's a light order, I can pack it in a jiffy and get it there and it's gonna be fine. But if it's New York from Oklahoma, that's a long way. I know that I need to pack that order tightly, use a lot of packing paper or peanuts to ensure things don't shift around in the box. Our rods and uh, our other items that come in small bags, I'll make sure I put them in a brown paper sack so that they're not flying all over the box in transit if things happen to shift around. We want our customer to be able to open their package and see that everything is secure in the box and take things out individually and then open their packaging. We like to have it kind of look like a little present because everybody likes to open a box and everything be right there where it's supposed to be, not scattered and scratching everything. Our customers like our materials to come in without any damage. Of course, uh, everyone would like it to be. Um, and I take a lot of pride in making sure that your items get to you safely and without damage. And if it so happens to, we correct that immediately. The second that we get the call, the paperwork is coming directly to me with a must ship today sticker and I'm getting it out the door to make sure that our customers are happy. Um, the process for checking our orders is I will see an item number for the item and then a part number that is designated to that item and then there is a description next to that as well. And what I'll start by doing is I like to look at descriptions the most because item numbers 
Some are easier to remember, but that description is flat out what it should be, what is being relayed to the customer, what the product is. So I'll read that and then make sure that that is the product that I have on hand and make sure that I have the correct quantity and then bag it so that nothing is spread out on the table. I have it all right there so it doesn't get lost. If I have a steel order that has some rods with it or um, some little bags of uh, one inch pins, I will roll my steel up and then put it in a bag and then attach it to the steel or roll it up with the steel, however is safest based on the other items in the order. But on the picking, if I think it's gonna be a little confusing if a customer's opening the box and might not see it, if it falls out, I like to add a little note on that picking. I put nickel silver rods in with the steel so that if they do call, then we know where it's at and we can help them find it quickly without issues. So I, I have managed to be the fastest packer here with the best quality control to my ability. Um, I really like to pay attention to the orders. I don't want things to get broken in transit. I'm very particular about how things go out and are packed.